Like I said, we're going to try and get that same feeling that we've got with the kicks into our hands, but we're going to purposely restrict the uh, the distance. Okay. So if we're playing with uh, say, say, punches, okay, ideally we have a good range. Create that kind of impact. Yeah. So we're pulling across, extending through the hip. It's causing the uh, shoulder, then the then the elbow, then the wrist. So we're trying to get that uh, sequential delay or that transition uh, through from the lower body to the upper body. Like this way, yeah. So we get a nice heavy uh, transition. Okay. What I want to try and do now is get a similar transition but with restric restricted range. Okay. So I'm going to try for full range. Try a little higher and a little higher. So each time I'm moving around this arc that my hand was working on. Okay? A little higher. Yeah. Then a little higher. Yeah. Then a little higher. Yeah. And I'm really all I'm trying to do is get the same dynamics, but I don't have as long. Okay? And um, so the, the movement itself needs to be shorter. But the timing between the sequence of events needs to stay the same. Okay, so imagine that that, that chain of dominoes. Okay, the, the the interval between them needs to stay the same for, for the energy to go go through uh, well. Okay, as well as it can. If I restrict the distance, it means everything has to be condensed. But the time the timing the intervals between them all get condensed together. So ultimately, it's the same pattern. Because you're restricting this hand movement, you haven't got as much swing. So you haven't got as what I'm saying is you haven't got as much time. Uh, you've got more time here to put the body dynamics through, less time here to put the body dynamics through, the focus impact. Okay, so it's a shorter interval. Same stuff happening, but just slightly condensed. Does that make sense? Okay. So uh, working that way, and then I want you to try different angles. And what you can do to restrict it now is to have another pad uh, in front here. So I'm going to touch one pad. To make sure that I'm not cheating by pulling back. Okay, so he's going to hold that there um, and he's going to have his pad as a target. So now I can't pull back. I just have to try and get that shot off at this range. Okay. And you want a nice heavy transition, uh, explosive using your hips, trying to drive through that. Hips again. And you get that shot effect, that brilliant. It's really, really useful because if I'm controlling uh, somebody here and I need to be able to strike without winding back, I get a lot of power just in, in from a few inches. Okay? Try it that way, then I want you to try it top to bottom. Okay? <coughs> try and put your weight down from a limited distance. <coughs> this way. Okay? And then your bottom to top. Here. Okay? <coughs> so try and work on the same dynamics and push it up now. Limited range, <coughs> up, up line, <coughs> up the bottom. <coughs> okay, so nice heavy shots. All right. <laughs> because your hands restricted, doesn't mean your body restricted. So as soon as you put the hand up here, everyone starts to tense the body as if this is com this is uh, uh, constricted as well. It's only this that's constricted. Okay. No. This. Okay, so it pays to exaggerate this a little bit so you can get to understand the body and down this better. So don't be afraid to lift. <coughs> really put that weight down, yeah? So there's a lot of heaviness there. This is not moving. A few inches, yeah? <coughs> down this way, yeah? Yeah. <coughs> down. So you get a lot of shock just in a really short range, yeah? Same with the hook, yeah? Just because this is restricted doesn't mean this is so exaggerated. <coughs> That in, yeah? Exaggerate. Put that in. Yeah? Same up. Here. Yeah. Doesn't mean that you can't dip. Okay? Just because it's just tied up. Dip. Lift. And then drive. Yeah? So that's why. Dip. And then up. Yeah? Hook. Drop. B. And don't be fooled by the fact that hands. If you get the body mechanics right, you don't need distance with the hands. Okay, it's like David was saying before, I've got the whole body to work with. So if my hand's this far away from the target, this far away, this far away, it's negligible compared to what I'm generating through the body. 
Okay, it's only when you're not using proper body dynamics that distance becomes uh, a significant factor. Okay, try again. I want you to switch between, start maybe just work on a hook, okay, then I want you to work on two different mechanics. I want you to exaggerate it and then think about the emotion, the feeling behind it, and then try and get that to happen in a smaller uh, movement so there's less happening externally, right? So from here, I want to make a big move and try and get the feeling right here, circle, <coughs> try and get a good smack in, okay? Then I want you to try and get, think of that feeling internally more so there's less happening here but I'm trying to get it the same feeling the same indexing uh, the same data um, in my body does that make sense so big so I'm really trying to feel that energy flowing through yeah and then, and then condense it down to try and get this so I'm, I'm trying to visualize this in, in my body the same you know that I would with the stick so this move here, yeah. oh, oh, big, here, yeah. that's through, and then smaller, I'm just trying to reach like that, inside, yeah, that's through, okay, you should get pretty close, okay, you may not get exactly the same, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but try and just compare the two and try and get that uh, understanding, you know, uh, you can put the same thing in, but it can be less obvious, but you can still have the feeling behind it. That's why we always equate to the feeling of things rather than the aesthetics, rather than what it looks like. We're more bothered about the effect and how it feels within us because then, if we've got that as a reference point, we can use it, we can, we can pull it out and use it in different dynamics and different techniques because all we really are is a discrete bunch of dynamics. <laughs>